What's going on guys, little Mikey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can port forward your uh, unturned 3.0 server so people around the world can join it or your friends can join it uh, from their house and they don't have to be on your house or your LAN. Um, this can get confusing, so make sure you follow the steps as closely as you possibly can, because boy, this can get confusing. So starting off, you're going to want to try uh, to port forward. Basically what that means is allow uh, someone else's computer to come through a port in your router to get to your computer. Now, if you go into your unturned properties, local files, browse local files, you'll get something that looks like this. Now if you remember, under our servers, your server name, you're going to want to go to server. And under your commands.dat file, you have um, your port says to 27015. So um, unturned will actually take up three ports after that port. So it'll take up 27015, 27016, 27017, and 27018. It'll take up all four of those, those ports, so you want to start put in your router settings the starting port is 27015 and the ending is 27018 if you were to do that and uh, unturned doesn't go under um, 2500 for the port so if you just put in 25444 it just simply won't work so what we're going to do is we're going to hop right into our router setting router settings if we open a window here um, now uh, to figure this out let's just go to Google so to figure out, you want to figure out your default gateway. That is how you get into your router. So to do that, you want to go down to your, your little start menu, same thing on Windows 8, to just go to like where you search your computer. Type in CMD, but do not click enter. Should bring up your CMD uh, EXE, you want to right click it, and you want to click run as administrator. Alright, so you just heard the little thing. I don't know why that took so long. But you'll get your CMD.EXE, I think it was because it was still looking for a thing. But anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, you're going to want to go into here and type in ipconfig, click enter. Now under your uh, wireless LAN adapter, if you're using Ethernet, it'll say uh, Ethernet connection adapter, actually it won't say that. It'll say Ethernet adapter local area connection under here, that's if you're using Ethernet, but if you're just using sh like the little Wi-Fi router thingy in your computer that uh, gets your Wi-Fi, uh, you're going to want to go under here and look at your default gateway. Mine happens to be 192.168.1.1. That's personal to my computer. Yours may be different. Yours probably actually is different because that's different for all computers. But um, So you're going to want to type that in. So what did I say? 192.168.1.1. So I've been here before. So when you click enter, you might have to log in. I logged in earlier so I'm not having to but you'll have to put in your username and password if you have not changed that then it's probably the the uh, the username is admin and the password is password but uh, if you or your parents have changed it you should just go ask your parents what the password is or have them enter it or if you know what it is obviously enter it but all routers are different anyway when you get into your router obviously all routers are different I'm repeating myself but um most likely it's either under advanced or applications and gaming mine happens to be under applications and gaming okay so after you click on applications and gaming you're gonna come into something that looks like this single port forwarding uh, you, got, you might have some other options but it's most likely just port, port forward, forwarding uh, you're gonna want to go to like other these are like all different like you can name them or whatever but this you can put in your own personal name I'm gonna put in unturned 3.0 and for your external port you're going to want to put in whatever you put here in your command.dat so 27015 so close out of that so we're gonna want to put in uh, 27015 and then for your internal port this is like your starting and ending port uh, you're going to want to put in 27018 because it's 3 after. Okay, so because uh, we're going to want to put in 20, 27015 uh, because that, or not 015, 018 because that's 3 after. Oh, I'm losing it. And uh, you're going to want to then put in your IPv4 address right here. As you can see, this is 192.168.1 and then whatever. Mine's 142, I think. Wait, let me look in the CMD. IPv4, yeah, 142. Um, 
and then you want to make sure you want to enable that and then click save settings or however it works just make sure you save it no matter what unless it automatically saves it but I don't think it would do that anyway here you are technically done in, like quotation marks technically done but there's some steps that I uh, think you should take because most firewalls will actually block something trying to go through your router into your computer which is like a virus so uh, it's not really it's not a virus it, it would think it's a virus but it isn't so to prevent that you're gonna want to go down here into your control panel everything's opening up with my second monitor today and in your control panel you're gonna want to search for firewall okay came up real quick Make sure you click on the whole thing like Windows Firewall. Like you want to go to Windows Firewall, the main thing. Then you want to go, gonna want to go over to the side right here to Advanced Settings. You have to be administrator to do this, by the way. All right. Then you're gonna get this big. Oh, I opened up too. Then you're gonna get this big thing, this big fat window that you probably like. Ah! Ignore all this. Just ignore it. You're gonna want to go over here to Inbound Rules, and then it's gonna pop up a bunch of stuff. You can organize it by name and go all the way down to the use for unturned see right here unturned uh, you want to make sure that it's going to allow those at those little nice little check marks right there that even just unturned it's okay and then we're gonna set up these two which I accidentally forgot to delete alright so pretend those were not there um, so next what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure those have little dice green checks next to them then over here to, you're gonna want to click new rule click on port because you're making it uh, it allow a port to go through then uh, you're gonna want to put in TCP those the first one or UDP it doesn't matter which one you do first because you're gonna make two for TCP and UDP because uh, unturned uses both then you're gonna want to do a specific local ports and you're gonna want to put in 27015 comma space 27016 space or comma space 270617 <laughs> and 27018 after you do all that I recommend copying that that way it just makes it easier click next make sure it says allow the connection next make sure all three of those are checked next and then you can uh, unturn to un unturn yeah unturn uh, TCP because that was TCP I believe click finish and boom okay I just figured out for some reason it sent unturned to the, to the top because I think it's because it's a U never mind it's just because it was a new thing uh, let's go back down yeah unturn TCP and then next we're gonna do another new rule we're gonna do port and we're just gonna do the same thing except we're gonna select UDP then we're going to paste that in there. Next, make sure to allow the connection. Three are checked. Name, and then we're going to do unturned uh, UDP. Cool, cool. After you do that, I don't know why, but it sends it to the top of the list. Boom. There the two of them are. Right there, make sure they have checks. They should have checks. But next, you see on local port, it says uh, all the things you put in there, but you want to make sure the remote port, uh, so it's going to allow things to go out, but it's not, it, it's probably going to allow things to come in, but you just want to make sure. So start with TCP, it doesn't really matter. Go to properties, go to protocols and ports. For remote port, you're going to want to select instead of all ports, specific ports, paste all of those numbers in there, apply, OK, then do the same thing with UDP. Properties, protocols and ports, specific ports, paste those in there, apply, OK. So now, if you notice, TCP, the local port, and the remote port both have all the same numbers and same thing with UDP. And uh, it'll allow everything to go through. After you do that, you want to click File, Exit, close out of that, and you can close out of your CMD. Now next, uh, for friends to be able to connect to your server, you're actually going to need them uh, you need to, you're gonna actually need to give them your public IP address so you can figure this out pretty easily uh, you can uh, just look go to like Google it's misspelled Google and uh, like put in what's my IP and right here it'll show your IP address I'm obviously not showing you guys because that wouldn't be 
good. And so, yeah, it'll, there's your, it says your public IP address, and it puts your IP address right there. Or you can go to, like, IP Chicken, like, here's IP Chicken. Same thing. They're all the same thing, but, you know, same thing. Anyway, you give that to your friends. You give them the port, so 27015. Is the port would be the port you give them a password whatever you want like one two three would be for me and then you give them your public IP address and then they can connect so that guys just about it on how to make your server public to the world or for your friends to connect from their networks to yours very simple very easy as long as you follow the steps you should get that done pretty quickly anyway guys that's all I have for today. I will be putting out another video today, probably, about all of the commands that you can put into the commands.dat file within your unturned server. And then that'll probably be it for videos today, because I've made like four, five, four, three, four. I have no idea. But I'm actually going to be going swimming soon, which is awesome, because I was just mowing lawns, and that makes you really sweaty. Anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe for more content, and check out these two new videos on screen. I'll see you next one. Peace out.